could kind of coast it on the run in. Tell, mm -hmm. tell us what was your take on the race? Um, just coming in and win. You know, I know they said top four was um, was um, the automatic qualifier, but I just came in. I felt good. You no, know, yeah. not doing any other events for once. But I mean, it, it all it all panned out. It was a good race. I know Coach Holloway probably saw something wrong. He always does, but <laughs> that's all love. He, he shows he shows you exactly what you're doing wrong. You know, it's it's been a long season for you, Collegians. You had indoor, outdoor. You did well. You competed in a lot of events. It would have been easy, maybe, for you to skip this. What was your motivation to come here and run in this national championship? Experience. You know, nothing more, nothing less. I mean, um, I've never made a USA team. I have, I haven't won a USA title. So, I mean, like, I feel like every year should be more motivation for me to keep coming out. I know I can't do indoor worlds. I mean, for USA's, but I mean, outdoors. I mean. Just two weeks after the NCAA, so just keeping it going, keeping the mo keeping the engine yeah. going, keeping the motor running. You feel inspired? You don't you don't feel tired or anything? Oh no, I don't I don't feel tired at all. <laughs> How about your confidence level? What are your goals for this meet? Um, just to come out with the with the win. I know it's gonna be hard. I know it's gonna be hard. Hold on. Yeah. It'll be um a little bit of a a little bit of a challenge because you know you got Aries, Devin, Elite, you know the top four yeah. people, but then you also got those the outlier factors that nobody really pay attention to, like Jared Eaton. So you know I'm just coming in here, just trying to do, just trying to do anything that I can do to win. I know you get asked this a lot, but you know you're, you're a hurdler, you're a jumper, you're a sprinter. What's what's your favorite discipline? <laughs> Will you tell me yeah. which one you like to see me in? I like to see you in all of them. Then that's that's the answer right do you there. Think about I mean now you're younger, but do you think about one you might be wanting to focus in as you become a more mature athlete? Um, I never really like pay attention to it as much. You know, yeah. I kind of like this live in the now and not really like thinking about the future. So I'll, I'll just take it one day at a time and you know, one event at a time, one race at a time, and then today it was once in hurdles. Tomorrow yeah. it's gonna be once in hurdles again. This always happens with somebody as talented as you. You're a collegian. And you talk about the future. Are, are you committed to the University of Florida? Have you been thinking about possibly turning pro? No. I, uh, I just released my um, my letter saying that I'm I'm gonna stay another year with um, University of Florida. So you know, it took me a lot of time to write that. You know, with the with the thanks of um our media guy here uh, here at Florida, Zach. You know, he he helped me out so much. He was there with me stride by stride. So I just want to say thank you to him. But no, I got another year in this orange and blue. And I can't wait to get it started. What went into that decision? Um, you know, a lot of opportunities that you could go for. Right. You know, there was all, was all opportunities all around the board. But, you know, I, I kind of just sat down with Coach Holloway and my family. And they said, um, what do you see yourself? And I was like, I don't feel like I'm mature enough to go with, um, to go pro. But then also, you know, that's the, that's the team aspect I'm not ready to get rid of. You know, some of those some of those boys on my team, like, we've been running. Good job, man. Woo. We've been running, we've been running for a, a good little while, but you know I, I'm not ready to give it up yet. That boy is something else. Uh, I can't say nothing else about him. I don't like him right now because he, he told me he wasn't going to run fast, and then next you know he runs nine eight. It's, what is that world leading time, right? Yeah. You know he's he's the world leading two events, right? Yeah. Yep. That boy is something else. That's all I gotta say. And somebody was affirming that Coach Holloway is your father. Oh. Father, father, no, cousin, yes. Cousin, yes. Cousin. So, what's it like to be coached by a relative? Awesome. It, you know, he he knows what you can take and what you can't take. He's always pushing my buttons to make me a better athlete, and then on top of that, to make me a better man. So, you know, having him as my coach and as my mentor at the University of Florida, it's like I have a home away from home. You know, I'm originally from Virginia. I'm yeah. ten hours, uh, ten hours away down south with Coach Holloway. So it's like I have my father there with me. So, you know, big thanks to him. Yeah. I think you mentioned Thanks. in Eugene that uh, since you broke the college record, you've been having some soreness or tightness. Right. Well, what's it, your? I'm uh, just having a little um, soreness in my groin. I've been monitoring it. I've been taking care of it. I mean, today I felt really good. I didn't feel nothing. So I'm. I, I don't know if it's just I need rest or if I'm doing something wrong, but I mean I'm feeling really really good I and mean, I'm ready to go out there um, tomorrow. Did it affect you in the, the finals at all? NCAA? Um, I would say I was just all a complete mess at NCAA's um, outdoors. I mean, granted I still got my I still got to defend my national title against David Gonzalez, who was just in our recent heat, but I feel like that I mean. We're all human. That's the way I see it. We all make mistakes. We all we all have ups and downs. And then just that weekend, I just wasn't on. I mean, as you guys saw, it was a little off in the long jump. We would ran well in the four by one, but that's just you know a regular sprint event. But then my two individual events, I kind of struggled in. And when we got back to Gainesville, we monitored it. We um, looked over it, everything, and I'm feeling I'm feeling I'm feeling pretty good. Cool. Well, good to see you in that. Likewise.